Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, we're going to walk through the Stable Diffusion Face Swap Custom Note in Comfy UI. With the easy implementation of Comfy UI's Custom Note, you'll be able to create face swap images and animations in Comfy UI quickly. As we showed in our previous video, we demonstrated Reactor Face Swap in Automatic 1111 for Stable Diffusion, and fortunately, there's also a Reactor Face Swap version in Comfy UI. Let's start with a clean slate and a default text to image workflow. This one is incredibly easy to use. For this demo, we're using Dream Shaper checkpoint models. We'll add the face swap custom node after the VAE decode. Now let's try writing a text prompt showing people in the image. For this demo, we won't be using additional settings or negative prompts. As you can see, the Comfyui text to image works just fine. Now we're going to add the face swap custom node. To do this, double click and search for reactor face swap. This is the custom note we need to work with face swap in Comfy UI. I'll rearrange the placement, connecting VAE decode as the input image and the image output to the save image node. One more thing, we'll create a load image node for the source image in reactor face swap. This will be the source of our face image, such as our AI model's face image. One important point I forgot to mention is that this custom node can be easily installed using the Comfy UI Manager. You don't need any additional steps or skill set to install it. Just search for Reactor and you'll find it. Its custom node ID is 115. And you can search this ID number as well. Simply click Install, wait for the download to finish, and then restart your Comfy UI. Simple and easy, right? That's why I like Comfy UI now. Let's get back to the workflow. In the Reactor node, there are settings similar to the version in Automatic 1111. You can choose the face detection method, and in this video, I'll try out each method to give you an idea of which detection method is suitable for you. Everything seems ready to go, so I'll hit generate and see if we can get a smooth process. You can observe the command prompt window with the reactor node analyzing the source image and target image. Here's the first example using face detection method, ResNet50. Let's generate one more time. Hmm, it looks a bit cartoonish with this method. Now let's try YOLOV5I. looks different. I'm going to experiment with other settings as well. We'll use DPM2M SDE with Keras Scheduler in the sampler node and try Realistic Vision 5.1 for more realistic style face swap images. After queuing the prompt, we'll wait for the result.
Much better, she's back. Now let's try one more time with a batch size of 4. You can also set the gender detection in the face swap node, which works similarly to the automatic 1111 extension. Generate one more time with gender detection enabled. Nice. The third one isn't great. It got a bad hand. But the other three images look pretty good. Even without much optimization, it can still generate good natural faces. So that's it for this tutorial. Face swapping using ComfyUI is easy to set up and implement into existing workflows. In our upcoming video, we'll use ComfyUI to create cool animation videos along with face swap AI models. Stay tuned for our next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and follow us for more tutorials and fun AI projects. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.